In this lecture, we'll talk about the sound wave parameter and we'll focus on the bigness parameters. My name is Joe and I help people understand ultrasound physics and pass the SPI exam. The bigness parameter we have the power, the intensity, and the amplitude. I have a video about uh, the relationship between the amplitude at the power and the intensity and I put it on the description below. Uh, you can watch it so you can understand uh, the relationship between the bigness parameter which is the power, intensity and the amplitude. The bigness parameter represents the strength of the sound beam. First we'll start with the power. The power is the amount of the energy coming from the ultrasound machine or the ultrasound pulsar. We can change the power from the knob on the machine control panel. There is a knob that we can control it. As a sonographer, we can control it to change the power. The unit for power is what or any unit we use it for uh, to measure the energy. Second parameter that we'll talk about it is the intensity, and intensity is the concentration of the energy in the area. And because it is a concentration of the energy of the area, that's why it's equal to power divided by the area. Because intensity equal to the power divided by the area, that's why we also can control it by this knob. So when we control the power on the machine, Actually, we also controlling the intensity because the intensity equal to the power divided by the area. This amount of in intensity that we controlling from the machine is an initial is the initial in uh, intensity because this intensity is exchanged when it travels through the medium because of attenuation. Attenuation come as a source of absorption or reflection because when sound wave travel in the medium some of this energy or reflect back and some of that travel so that's why the traveling intensity is different than the initial intensity and also because uh, the medium can absorb some of this energy and convert it to heat that's why we only say that we can control the initial intensity from the control panel. Also because we say that the intensity is the concentration of the energy in, uh, in the area, that's why if we have a sound beam shaped like that, because the sound beam is not even, the sound beam is wider at the, uh, at the beginning of it, and it's, uh, it's more narrow, in the middle or in the focus area and then it become wider again or it diverge again that's why the concentration of the energy at the focus area is more and that's we have that's why we have more intensity on the focus area so this is a focus area here or we call it the focus zone now we'll talk about the amplitude. The amplitude is a difference between the maximum value and the average of the acoustic variables. What is the acoustic variables? The acoustic variable is the motion, the density, and the pressure. To understand uh, the amplitude and how to calculate the amplitude, we need first to understand the acoustic variables. Uh, when sound wave travel in a medium, and as we know that this medium contains a particles, these particles act on the medium on the way that result on an area which is having more density, more pressure, more motion, and another areas which is having less pressure less motion and less density. The motion and the pressure and the density, we call it the acoustic variables. And this variable travel in, uh, on the medium as a wave. Area with uh, low acoustic variable, we call it rarefaction. 
and area with a high acoustic variable, we call it compression. So the compression have uh, more motion, more pressure, more density, and the refraction have less pressure, less motion, and less density. As we see, we drew a wave like that. The area with refraction is here, area with compression, area with refraction, compression, refraction, compression, refraction, and so on. The unit for the motion is centimeter. The unit for the density, kilogram per cubic centimeter. And why it's kilogram per cubic centimeters? Because the density is equal. The mass divided by the volume. The unit for the mass is kilogram. And the unit for the volume is cubic centimeter. Meter. That's why the unit for the density is kilogram per centimeter uh, cubic. We use that for the pressure, we use the pascals. We can use all this unit for the amplitude, which is centimeter, kilogram per cubic centimeter, or pascals. We also can use the decibel for the amplitude. And why we use a decibel? Because the amplitude is the difference between the average value, which is here, and the maximum value, which is here, or the average value, which is here, and the minimum value, which is here. And because it's a difference between two numbers, that's why we can use the decibel for the amplitude. If you want to know how to calculate the decibel, I, uh, I made a video about the lower risk and the decibel and you can watch this video and I will put it uh, on the description below. You can watch the video on the description uh, for the relationship between the amplitude, power and the intensity but I will give you a quick idea on how they relate to each other right now. So the amplitude and the power and the intensity are proportionally related to each other. Power and intensity proportionally related to the amplitude squared. So if the amplitude increased by the factor of x, the power and the intensity will increase by the factor of x squared. For example, if the amplitude increase by the factor of 4, the power will increase by the factor of 16 and the intensity increased by the factor of 16. Why 16? Because 4 squared equal to 16. Now we'll take an example of how to calculate the amplitude from the acoustic variables. And we'll take that density as an example uh, of our acoustic variables here. Because we know that density is one of the acoustic variables. So if we have uh, the maximum uh, density 600 kilogram per centimeter square and the minimum density is 100 kilogram per centimeter square what is the amplitude we know that the amplitude is equal to the difference from the baseline to the maximum peak or it could be also the difference from the baseline to the minimum peak. And the change or the difference from the minimum peak to the maximum peak, we call it the peak to peak amplitude, right? So from here, we can say that the peak to peak amplitude is equal to double the amplitude because one amplitude here above the baseline and another amplitude below the baseline so two amplitude equal to the peak to peak amplitude so we need to calculate first the peak to peak so after that we can get divide the peak to peak over two and get the amplitude so we have the maximum of 600 and the minimum of 100 
So the peak to peak amplitude will equal to the maximum minus the minimum. It will equal 600 minus 100. It will equal to 500 kilogram per centimeter uh, cubic. And the amplitude will equal to the peak to peak amplitude divided by two. It will equal 500 divided by two. It will equal to 250. How much is the baseline? This baseline. Or how to calculate the baseline? So the baseline will equal either 100 plus 250. Because 100 here plus the amplitude will equal to the baseline. So 100 plus 250, which is equal to 350. Of course, kilogram per centimeter cubic. Or 600 minus uh, uh, minus the amplitude which is 250 so 200 uh, 600 minus 250 and also it will equal to 350 the baseline here will be 350 and this is how we calculate the amplitude from the acoustic variable on the next lecture we'll complete talking about the rest of the sound wave parameter which will be the propagation speed the frequency, the period, and the wave length. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.